Good afternoon. My name is Eugene Vargas, and I have my co-debaters here, Eric Abaye and Oscar Rumba. In 1985, Gateway started with Ted Wyatt and his friend Mike Hammond in Iowa with a uh, three-page business plan, a $10,000 guaranteed loan from his grandmother, and a used computer. From the beginning, Gateway has made profit, has made money, starting from $1 million their first year, and has grown over the time. In 1996, Gateway did make a big change in their company. They decided to go into open up retail stores, which at that time no one really had a store. In 1996, Ted Wyatt did open up PC retail stores, which he called Gateway Country Stores. <coughs> Customers could come in, try new products, get technical advice, and learn more about them in technology. However, the stores were nothing more than a failed investment and financial burden on Gateway's revenue by adding to the company's overhead costs. Soon after the opening of these stores, the PC market took a major hit and most firms suffered. In such a crucial time and already saturated market, Wyatt used his stores to sell other products such as plasma TVs and digital cameras and also paid a great deal for advertising. This only increased his competition and decreased his company's chances of survival. He even invested an additional $35 million out of desperation to rejuvenate the stores, only for them to be shut down soon after. Wyatt spent too much time and effort restructuring the company by reducing its workforce and slowly closing some of its retail stores instead of promptly ridding the company of its costs where it would have made a difference. By eliminating the country stores swiftly before it was too late, Gateway could have made a turnaround and money could have been allocated to galvanize the manufacturing of new products. By spending so much on advertising, remodeling his outlet stores, and exploring other markets, he lost sight of his main product line and ensued in the process of deprivation. Wyatt was never able to bring his Gateway's country stores to profitability, and by the time Gateway had closed all of its remaining retail stores, it was too late. Thank you. Good afternoon, fellow students and professors. First off, students, I, will, I want to really congratulate you guys. All of you guys really have done a great job uh, with the debate, especially the last one. I had them on the edge of my seat. And I want to start off really by telling you guys a story of how we, how we started. Uh, we actually, several weeks ago, uh, our group sat down to start preparing for today. And we opened up our, uh, our Management in the States book, opened up to the Gateway case. We were excited. Then we read the case and our excitement quickly faded. It seemed like we had to defend uh, a very tough, a tough perspective. I'm sure you guys maybe felt that way. There was a tougher side to the debate than the other. And we were in a tough spot because we had to defend the perspective that Gateway actually had a good idea in, in doing the country stores when in reality <laughs> do the same country stores that cost Gateway tons of money. So we were frustrated. And in that frustration, I just threw my book aside, grabbed my iPhone, opened up my MacBook, and then it hit me like a ton of bricks. Guys, in this room, who has an iPhone? Raise your hand. Oh, awesome. Uh, an iPad, maybe. Can I borrow it later? OK, great. <laughs> and who has like an iPhone? I'm sure most of you guys have an iPhone, right? Now let me ask you guys, have you ever heard of the Apple Store? Yeah, you have, right? Guess what? Who had that idea before Apple did? You guessed it. Gateway. Today, Team 23 is going to try to convince you that this idea was a bad idea. Sorry, guys, I'm not falling for that one. And you guys, I'm sure, know better. The idea did not fail because it was a bad idea. The reason that it failed, because management did not execute it properly. It didn't spend what it needed to spend or this is the right strategy for advertising. The choices that were made by management were idiotic. So don't fall for, for their, their tricks. And you guys know the reality that this idea was a good idea because of what I just was 